Hello everybody, this is a mini review, quick look at the TechNet M268 or 6D gaming mouse. It's not my fault, his two names. <laughs> ah, what can I say about this mouse? Well, first of all, I need to tell you the price. The price of this mouse is 10 euros. And for 10 euros, I doubt you can get a better mouse. It looks fantastic. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking mice ever, as I have seen. It has left and right mouse button, which works very well. The whole thing here is a mouse button. A mouse wheel, which goes only for uh, up and down, but while it moves a little bit and feels a bit cheap, it doesn't seem to affect it so far how it works as a mouse wheel. There's a button here to change the DPI setting um, among three or four settings, which cannot be changed. There's no software for this mouse. There are two buttons, these two black buttons on the left side, usually for the forward and back in browsers and so on. There's no button on the right side. There are four mouse feet, which work just fine. The mouse is overall comfortable, although I prefer my mice taller. The only major issue I have with this mouse, there are two issues, and one of it is, yeah. Well, you see how this thing is, it will give it gives the impression of being grippy or something, of using the uh, friction to be able to hold the mouse when you have to move it a little bit. Well, that's not how it works. You see, both the left side and the right side here is very slippery almost impossible to hold it properly with the pinky finger and the thumb. In fact, the only way that this works is on the left side, you can use the thumb to move it just underneath the two mice buttons here. So it provides friction enough to hold it. And on the right side, you have to use this little corner so this is how I usually have my hand on it and you see how I have my pinky finger holding it there to pick it up. So if I want to move it a little bit, I have to do this or else it just it's, it, it doesn't feel secure in the, in the hand. That is an issue for me and apparently something there anyway. Uh, the other issue I have with the mouse, and it's not entirely its fault, well actually it's not its fault at all, is that it's uh, it's quite a short mouse, and I like my mice quite tall. So if you, like me, prefer mice who have a little bit of a girth to it, then this is not a mouse for you. Otherwise, this is a fantastic mouse for the couple of weeks I'm using it. It's very responsive, it has zero mouse acceleration. Uh, mouse buttons, wheel, everything works just fine. For 10 euros I couldn't be happier with the mouse. Well, I could if it was... yeah, you know what I mean. So if this is not... oh, by the way, my, my hands are not sweaty or anything. I don't have that issue at all. I, I don't think I ever sweat my hand. Still, it is slippery for me. See, I'm, I'm, I'm using a lot of strength now to pick it up from there. Definitely not, not a good design. It would be better if it had something there. I don't know, either a different shape or plastic, or rubbery thing, something. I don't know. For 10 euros, it's 
it's definitely worth it. And if you don't have an issue with the two things I not I, I mentioned, then I don't think you'll have any problems with this mouse. At least in the short term. I don't know in the long run how it will work. As I said, I only have it for a couple of weeks now. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching.